Hey what's up guys, Us Creative Gamer here and welcome to my video on how to load custom Minecraft maps into a bucket server. So I'm just assuming you know how to set up a bucket server, but if you do not, there will be an annotation up in the top corner to my tutorial on how to do it, because I'm not going to explain it all again during this video. So in this folder here I have the jar file, the run files and the map I'm going to want to load into the server. To start off, we're just going to put our jar file and our run files into a file you want to run the server from and just let it run through. Once the server is finished preparing, you just want to stop running it. And once it is finally saved, you just want to delete the world, world nether and world the end files from the server because you don't need them anymore and you want to drag in the map you want to play. So mine is Wrath of the Fallen and I've chosen this map for a specific reason which I'll show you in a very second. So server.properties I recommend downloading Notepad++ to edit. There will be a download link in the description. Just much easier for editing property files. So in here number 5 will be sorry, <laughs> level name and it's world at the current moment because that's the name of the map that is just default to the bucket servers so you just want to paste in the name of the map you're playing so I'm Wrath of the Fallen and you, I'd recommend changing PvP to false just in case you're playing an adventure map and halfway through you accidentally knock your partner off a mountain or something and they die and that's not good for if playing or if you're recording so save your server files and just run so now it's time to open up Minecraft and I'm going to show you the problem that some of the smaller Minecraft maps have. So we're just going to local host connect to the server. And as you can see, this is not the correct spawn for this map. We are, the actual spawn is in that building there. But some of the smaller maps, like this map, don't put you in the correct spawn area, which is not good. Maps like T3C Parkour and the Star Wars map put you in the correct spawn because they're obviously a big map and you have time to sort all that stuff but smaller maps don't usually tend to do this for servers because it's usually made for just playing solo so I'm going to show you how to fix that just now so I'm just going to disconnect and stop the server from running once you have done this you're going to go to go to your .minecraft folder I'm just assuming you know where this is because if you need to install any mods or texture packs or anything you're going to need to know where that is but if you don't by any chance I'm going to be making a video on how to install mods very soon so just go to your .minecraft folder and go to saves and just drag Wrath of the Fallen or whatever map into here and now load single player in Minecraft Wrath of the Fallen and it's going to change game mode and put you in the correct spawn so once you've done this just save and enter title and then drag Wrath of the Fallen back into the server and run again. Now once it's prepared, doesn't take as long this time, just go to multiplayer and connect once again and you are in the correct spawn because when you drag it into single player it saves the spawn in this room and the server knows that so it just puts you back here. So some Minecraft maps do this, not all of them do so check if it do or don't before doing your server with your friends or whatnot. So just disconnect and we're gonna stop the server from running. So guys that's pretty much that's it. It's not very hard to load Minecraft maps into the Minecraft bucket server but lots of people don't know how to do it. I just played around with this and found out how to do it myself but lots of people don't know how to do it and want to know how to do it to record with their friends and whatnot. But even if they do know how to do it, sometimes that happens, it doesn't put you in the right spawn and then your friends join and they're like, what the hell, we're in a cube with lots of string. I don't know why it puts you there, it's just like usually what spawns underneath the maps from now on in 1.4.5. It's weird but... Anyway, that's how you get the correct spawn and how to import any custom Minecraft map into a bucket server. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you've not subscribed, and guys, thanks so much for helping me hit 1k. It's the first big milestone for my channel and I really appreciate it. Right guys, catch you in the next Minecraft episode soon. See ya.